Sandra. Like, where have you been? What do you mean? I'm right on time. In fact, you know, I think I'm actually, I'm actually early, Kim. Cassandra, I've been sitting here and waiting for you for hours. Hours? Yes, I'm so excited. Okay. I want us to do something. It's okay. gonna be so fun. Okay, what do we do? We gotta go outside. You got your friend? You, you need your phone. You need your camera. I need you my phone. Film. You're I'm, gonna film me. I'm gonna film you outside. Yes, we gotta go outside. Okay, Come on. We gotta I guess go. we're going Let's outside. Go. Bye, guys. Outside. Come on. Okay, 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 we're going outside. We're going Central Kids TV. And this month we are talking about integrity, which is choosing to be truthful in whatever you say and do. Okay, now Kim, are you ready? Okay, I am. Oh, hold on, let me. Camera rolling? I do, but let me turn it around so I can film you on the other side. Okay, hold on, stop. Let me okay. get down on the other side. I want to show you something. Okay, Kim, why, why is your car parked like that? It's not even in a proper parking spot or anything. Okay, do you remember at the beginning how I said it? I wanted it to be a NASCAR race car pit crew. Yeah, person? yeah, we all remember that, Kim. Okay. Okay, so I got something amazing to show you guys. I've been practicing really hard. Okay, you've been practicing really hard. Okay, what yes. have you been practicing? I've been practicing, watch, watch. Okay, hold on guys, hold on. There she is. Watch, I can roll a tire. And Kim is rolling a tire. I can roll it really fast. Yeah, I see that, you're rolling it really fast. Okay, well, uh, what else, Kim, do you okay, want to show us? Yeah. fast I can get around the car. Around the car, okay. okay. I be fast, right? Okay, go ahead, watch. we're watching. Wait a minute. Okay. Yeah. Right. Uh huh. Are you guys watching this? Mm hmm. Um, Kim. See? I was so fast. Did you see me? Did you even see me? I was so fast. Yeah, we hardly saw her move, huh, guys? Yeah, okay. Okay, so I, right. think, I, think, I think I'm ready, don't you? Okay, so I have one big question for you. Ready, Kim? question yeah, yeah you're right this is the one big question you ready okay okay so you can roll a tire yes. and you can run back and forth to each side really fast yes, really okay fast. so here's the question can you change a tire on a car actually change like a real tire yeah on an actual car yeah that's the question Kim well no I've never actually done that okay so Kim um, that's kind of the first thing you need to learn if you want to be part of a NASCAR pit crew is how to change a tire. But I can roll the tire really fast and I can run around the car really fast. All right, guys, we're going I inside. Um, we'll see you later, Kim. Bye. Wait, wait. You want to see me run again? Okay. I can do the tire okay, go ahead. Run again, Kim. All right, run again. Okay, you got it, Kim? Okay. Yeah, she's got it. Yeah, we're going inside. The story before the story. Today, we're in the Old Testament, the book of Daniel. God had a plan to bless the whole world through one family, the Israelites. But God's people kept turning away from God. At last, they were conquered by Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon. After his victory, the king chose several young Israelite men to be prepared for service in his court. God blessed these four men. Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, with health, knowledge, and wisdom. Eventually, the king put Daniel in charge of a big part of the kingdom and appointed his three friends to help. Which is where our story starts. Take it away. Today's Bible story comes from the Old Testament. And Kim, Kim are, you, are you okay? Cassandra. Yeah? I'm exhausted. Mm -hmm. Okay. It was so hot outside. Yeah. I was running and trying to change the tire. Okay. And I'm exhausted. I can't move anymore. Okay, well, um, we need to tell the story, Kim. No. <laughs> can, no. can we play can we play a video? I'm just too tired. That seems like really like the lazy thing to do. Shouldn't we be teaching and telling the kids all about God today? Shouldn't we tell the story, Kim? No, can't we just play the video? Even my ears hurt. Your ears hurt? That That's really silly, Kim. Uh, but they do. I just can't. Please. You can't listen to it? No. Okay, well. You're making um, my ears hurt. Don't make my ears hurt. Uh, okay, so uh, I guess we're just going to play a video. Um, uh, roll it. There once were three Jewish men named Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Hey! hey. When they were very young, they were taken from Israel to live in a place called Babylon. 
At that time, the king of Babylon was a man named Nebuchadnezzar. That's it. Almost there. And he made a gold statue that was 90 feet tall. Perfect. The king sent a message for everyone to come to the dedication of his statue. When everyone had assembled, <laughs> it was declared that people of all races, nations, and languages would bow before the statue and worship King Nebuchadnezzar's statue when they heard the sound of musical instruments. If anyone refused, they would be thrown into a fiery furnace. So at the sound of the musical instruments, all the people bowed to the ground and worshiped. But Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego did not because they were Jewish and would only bow to the one true God. Some of the wise men of Babylon went to the king and told him that Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego refused to bow to the statue. What? This made the king very angry, and he asked Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego if it was true that they would not bow to the statue. Then he said he would give them one more chance to bow down, and if they did not bow, they will be thrown into the fire. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego replied that they didn't need to defend themselves against the king. They said, If we are thrown into the blazing furnace, the God whom we serve is able to save us. He will rescue us from your power, your majesty. But even if he doesn't, we want to make it clear to you, your majesty, that we will never serve your gods or worship the gold statue you have set up. The king was so angry with Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego that he commanded the furnace to be heated seven times hotter than usual. Then he ordered Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego to be bound and thrown in the fire. The fire was so Kim! Kim, what are you doing? It's it's the best part. It's coming I'll, up. I'll be right back. I okay, well, I I I guess Kim, you know, this was your idea to watch a video. Everyone's waiting for you, Kim. Just give me a minute. I'm, I'll be right there. Okay, um, Kim. Really, any time now. We're waiting. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I, oh, okay. Are, are you ready? Yes. Okay. I had to make popcorn. All right. Let's continue. Uh, maybe back up just a few seconds. Yep, yep. Right there. All right. Okay, that's perfect. Perfect. Mm, that's good that he commanded the furnace to be heated seven times hotter than usual. Then he ordered Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego to be bound and thrown in the fire. The fire was so hot that it killed the soldiers that threw them in. So Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego fell into the flames. But suddenly, the king jumped up and said to his advisors, didn't we tie up three men and throw them in the furnace? The advisor said, yes, but the king said, look, I see four men walking around the fire and the fourth looks like a god. Then the king shouted to Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, come out. So Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego stepped out of the fire and everyone saw that the fire had not touched them. They didn't even smell of smoke. Then Nebuchadnezzar praised the one true god of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who had rescued them from the fire. And the king made a new command that anyone who spoke a word against the god of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego would be greatly punished. Then he promoted Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in his court. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego trusted in God and were willing to die rather than worship any god but their own god. Then King Nebuchadnezzar honored Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. He increased their rank and gave them even higher positions in the city of Babylon and the towns around it. The end. So they were inside the fire and it was seven times hotter? Yeah. Than usual and they didn't even get burned? Yeah, not only didn't they get burned, they didn't even smell like <gasps> smoke. No wonder the king of Babylon was amazed and he worshiped God. Yes. Yeah. So here you had these three guys yeah. who could have easily just bowed down and no one would have thought anything about it. Yeah, yeah. But 
That would, huh. may have been the easy way out, and it may have been a safe choice, but it would have been a lie, and oh. it would have hurt their integrity. When we choose to do what's right, others can see God at work. And that starts by following Jesus. Yep. Jesus is a perfect picture of what God is like. When we try to live like Jesus, our choices and action can show God's love to others even better than our words. Yeah. So here's the big idea. When you do what's right, others can see God. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego's decision not only affected King Nebuchadnezzar, but the entire kingdom for generations to come. Oh yeah. Because of their love for God, the king and everyone in the kingdom got to see just how powerful God really is. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thanks for joining us today. We'll see you next time on Central Kids TV. Bye everyone. All right, are you ready to go? Um, no, are you ready to go and change a tire? We're gonna go learn together, come on. It'll be great. No, let's just eat popcorn and watch another movie. Watch another movie? What do you wanna yeah, watch? Yeah, let's watch Cars. Oh, I love Cars, let's do that. Bye okay. everyone, see Bye. you next time. See ya.